Well, he aided in deployment of information technology to more than 50 developing countries. Please welcome to the stage, George Sadowski. So I'd like to tell you a story. In 1981, in particular in the spring of 1981, I found myself in Kigali, Rwanda. Uh, the background was that in 1973, I'd signed on to the UN as a technical advisor in computer methods, uh, just as the African census program was starting, and uh, we were installing country, new computers in almost every country in sub-Saharan Africa, with the exception of South Africa. Uh, I was there because the uh, uh, agent that we had sent over to install a Honeywell mini computer, which only required 10 kVA of uninterruptible power supply to work, <laughs> uh, couldn't get the computer to work, so I was sent. Uh, and after a few days, we uh, took care of most of the, uh, the, the simple problems, but we still couldn't get the computer to accept the operating system tape. So clearly, what do you do? Well, you go back to the manufacturer or you go back to a colleague and ask. At that point, uh, Rwanda had a radio telephone service for, in a two-hour window out of every 24, and it, was, it reached New York, the East Coast, at between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. Uh, you could um, get a plane and fly out. The turnaround it would be certain, but the turnaround time was pretty long. Uh, or you could go through the UN telex operator, the first e actual email. Uh, the telex operator had a sensor, that's spelled C-E-N-S-O-R, uh, whose job it was, uh, apparently, to uh, strike out every other word, or certainly to re remove enough words so that the content was thoroughly ambiguous. And he had a colleague on the other side, so the reply got the same treatment. So, to uh, make a long story short, after two weeks, we were nowhere. Uh, and it drove home to me the concept of information poverty in a way that no other experience had. There are lots, there's lots of evidence about of information poverty. Uh, when we visited university libraries in most sub-Saharan uh, countries, uh, we found that the library had approximately 100 books, and they were 20 years out of date. Uh, so that there was, it was really a very sad situation. And I thought to myself, well, you know, if I, with the knowledge of how to how to get information, fail totally, utterly, miserably in this, what chance do the people who live in these countries have? They don't. And the, so the, informa the uh, information poverty simply perpetuates itself because they're unable to identify well and solve their problems. Now, that's not the only uh, thing you need to solve problems, but it's really, really important. So when, when I left the UN and uh, went back to university academia computing uh, and uh, met uh, the people who eventually founded the Internet Society, I thought, here's something we can do en masse to create waves of people who understand this, who, who come from these countries, who can go back and install, uh, connect their countries to the Internet, install routed networks, do resource discovery and, res and uh, content serving eventually on the net. There was a crying need. Uh, it was a volunteer effort. Uh, some of the people in this room contributed to it. Randy Bush contributed mightily to the start of it uh, to help make it a success. Uh, Steve Goldstein and Ida Holtz were at the first uh, workshop. Yihan Diaz was at the second. Uh, we, we decided that we, we would take the time to create courses that would allow people to do these things, and we would fund them to the ex maximum extent we could, which was almost 100% uh, in most years. Uh, we had a willing uh, uh, ally in Larry Landweber, who was then vice president, Vint, who was president, uh, and uh, uh, so we started uh, with 135 people at Stanford University. Over the course of eight years, we trained about 1,500 people from almost all developing countries, and we started a, a, a series in Central and Eastern Europe, uh, which has really outlived ours and still continues to be an active uh, networking association. Uh, we, uh, uh, from that workshop came uh, WALC for Latin America, uh, and uh, which, tr which trained, I suspect, many more people in the thousands. I'm very proud of this accomplishment. I, I think that uh, uh, the, the, uh, the many volunteers who gave up their vacations uh, and much of their time to, uh, to run these workshops for the Internet Society uh, were, uh, uh, were really, really uh, in, the, in the forefront of pushing the Internet out so that truly uh, the Internet can be for everyone. And I'm also very pleased that one of the results of this was 
that the internet society itself turned its face to the problems of development, to the problems of training and helping people, and that trend continues to this day. Thank you very much.